back to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new I film beauty lifestyle and travel related videos so if that is something you're into make sure you like comment and subscribe also hit those post notification bells so you always know when to upload new video make sure you follow me on Instagram at just Kayla Michelle and give me a like on Facebook by the same name so guys please excuse my dusty appearance I just did not have it in me today to really get ready because I did a lot of shopping so um, I took a poll on my community tab and I asked which um, video you guys wanted to see first and this one won. So this is my body lotion slash body butter collection and you know it was a really tight race neck and neck. Um, I gave you the choice between this video and my pink cupcake shower routine but when it did hit the 24 mark, the 24 hour mark, this video won. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys all the lotions and body creams I have accumulated. So let's just hop right into this video. So I just went ahead and emptied um, one of my little cubicles so I can just, you know, put things back up as I go. So the first, and I'm not gonna be reading any notes or anything because this video is already gonna be pretty long. So the first lotion I have here is A Thousand Wishes. And this is definitely a signature scent. This is something that I really enjoy. And this little section right here is pretty much my Bath and Body Works lotion section. So, so the next one I have here is Hibiscus Paradise. This is a nice like citrusy coconut type of scent and it does um, really smell really good. It smells really great for the summertime. The next one is a new one and I have been pretty much using this a lot as you can see. And this is Raspberry Jam Donut. This is one of my new favorites. And this actually gives me um, real donut vibes and it actually has a nice like powdered sugar note at the end. So the next one here, this is another new favorite as well. And this is Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. I don't even really have much to say about this because it is that good. It is like a fruity vanilla. It smells so good. It's definitely like a freaking dessert. So try this if you um if you haven't. And this is a retired fragrance. So I did, did get that from a retired fragrance sale. So this is one that I don't really use that often. This is white pumpkin chai. And this is definitely a fall type of scent because I do get like a lot of pumpkin out of this, but I do enjoy it. This is only one of those type of scents that I would use in the fall. Normally I don't really care about that, but since this does give me a lot of, you know, pumpkin, I don't tend to gravitate towards it during these warmer months. So next, this is Dark Kiss. You already know she is my top number one favorite scent from Bath & Body Works ever. She is retired, but you can get her a lot. This is a very sultry, dark, plum, sexy scent. So, you know, if you wanna smell like a grown woman, definitely try a Dark Kiss. I did recently get this one, and this is Forever Red. And this is like a pomegranate type scent. This is really good, and I do actually have the body wash as well as the body spray that goes to this so i would highly recommend forever red it's like a sweet but a grown type of sweet not childish at all so this one is pink chiffon so this is another retired fragrance she's really sweet and pretty definitely would recommend her as well and then this is coconut cream pie i really enjoy this i mostly use this now at nighttime, but it has such a nice gourmand sweet high coconut type of scent like this is really warm and this really pairs well with vanilla scents in my opinion so this is one i'm pretty much getting through so this is cactus blossom and cactus blossom is like a free like a fresh sweet floral and it's really funny because i don't like florals but this has like a freshness to it but also enough sweetness that i like it and if you can see i'm pretty much like halfway done with it so i do enjoy that a lot and when i run out i will be buying it again so this is Velvet Sugar and this is a retired fragrance but I just got this probably a month or two ago and I am absolutely in love with it. My daughter actually likes this one too and it smells just like what the name says. It's just straight sugar. So this is Into the Night and I'm sure you guys have heard about her a lot. This is very sexy. I feel like this is a cousin to Dark Kiss in my opinion but this is another sultry dark scent and if you can see I have been making my way through her because this is just that good the next one is definitely another favorite of mine so this is strawberry pound cake i don't really have to say too much i know you guys have heard of this fragrance a lot definitely gives a nice strawberry 
a little sweet, a little tart, a little creamy type of scent. And then I did recently get Be Enchanted and this is a nice berry scent. So those are my Bath & Body Works lotions. So now I'm gonna move on to my Bath & Body Works body creams. So this is another recent purchase. This is a thousand Christmas wishes and I do agree with everybody that says this smells better than a thousand wishes. Even though I do enjoy a thousand wishes. This is definitely way more dark, dark and sultry in my opinion and it just smells wonderful. I really regret when it was out in stores. I just wasn't interested for some reason but I definitely am now. So if they have that at SAS I'm definitely gonna cop. So this is in my opinion a controversial scent because I feel like you either love this or you hate it. I'm leaning more towards the hate side so I do have a lot of this left unfortunately. I have like this much left and I'm just trying to get through it. I do not like Vanilla Bean Noel. It is just pretty artificial to me. I'm sorry to those of you that love it. It's just not my gem. If they reformulated it maybe but I'm just trying to get done with it. So this is another new purchase and this is lavender and honey and this is just a kind of like a fresh a little sweet type of scent. I really enjoy wearing this at night and I haven't put much of a dent in that but I do use the actual body spray more than I use the body cream. So this is the body cream to coconut cream pie that we just talked about so you know same deal just a little thicker. And then here we have the infamous Cotton Candy Clouds. And this is one of those Canadian exclusive scents. This smells really good, it's really sweet. And it just, it's like a cupcake, like I really enjoy this. So Hollywood, if you could pick this up on Mercari or if you get to go to your outlet, before they start to run out, I would pick this up. Next I have another, this is strawberry pound cake and this is in the body cream and I need to actually work on using my body creams up because I want to make room for more and you know body creams do not last as long as the body lotions and come SAS I want to stock up on some body creams. So here we have champagne's host. And this is really pretty. It's, it matches the actual pattern of the actual um, fragrance mist. I really like Champagne Toast. Although it's not one of my favorites, I do feel like they did change the formula because my mom actually first bought this for me a couple years ago and it smelled different, but I do still like this. It just is a little more citrusy, but it really smells like champagne. It really has a nice bubbly champagne note to it. And hopefully I don't knock all these over as I'm putting them back up. So I haven't put much of a dent in this one, but I'm gonna definitely start using it more come this summer. So this is Tiki Bay Island Margarita. And yeah, this is, I actually like this in the candle as well, as well as I think I have the soap. But this is really good. It just has a nice tropical sweet vibe to it. And then of course we have Dark Kiss, cause you know, I have everything in Dark Kiss. And then this last one for this shelf is Essential Amber. Unfortunately, I was sleep on Central Amber for a very long time, my whole life pretty much, because you know, Bath and Body Works did come out in 1990 when I was born. <laughs> so yeah, I was sleep my whole life on Central Amber, but this is so sexy. This is definitely, I will put this up there with Dark Kiss and Ends of the Night because this is definitely a nice perfumey type of scent. So now we're gonna move on to my aromatherapy section. So, and I have to like reach up here because this is taller than me right now. <laughs> but this is my eucalyptus and spearmint uh, from Bath and Body Works, of course. Mostly this whole section is Bath and Body Works to be honest with you. And I don't really care for that that much because I just wanted to try something different because I wanted some mint and just to see if I liked it, but I didn't really care for it, unfortunately. But I am gonna use it up <laughs> because we're not gonna waste anything. So this is Comfort and this is my boo. I love Comfort. It's just unfortunate that I think, not I think, I'm sure they discontinued it. This is such a nice, like it says, vanilla and patchouli scent. Once I figured that I love this, um, because I did have a sales as associate actually point that scent out to me one day, I was obsessed with it. So luckily I still have some pillow mist and some room spray. So hopefully I can get lucky at SAS and pick some up. 
So this is another one that I really love. So this is a Hot Springs and Spa Moisturizing Lotion. And that, um, I'm definitely getting through this one. Um, I love to wear that one when I'm just wanting to relax and I just want to feel like I'm having a spa day. And I do actually have a quick, you know, spa-like routine. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. So then I have this Energy one and I do think this is discontinued, but this is Plumeria and Mandarin. It's an okay scent. It's not all that, but it definitely does give you an energy type of vibe, an energizing vibe. And then this is one of my favorite scents. So this is the Sleep and this is Lavender and Vanilla. I love this so much. I will always advocate for that scent. And then just in the middle here, I am almost done with this, but this is just my body oil and this is black chamomile. And as you can see, all the stickers and stuff are coming off because it's so oily. And then this is a recent purchase that I got from Burlington. So this is lavender and marula oil. I love this so much. I love to use this at night. I don't use it on my face even though it says you can. I just use it all over my body. So I do have this body cream and this is really good. This is the black chamomile that matches that actual oil. And I do like to mix those together or I like to mix the oil with lavender scents because they go pretty well together. But here this is black chamomile and this smells so good. I did get that at an aromatherapy sale. All of my aromatherapy you see, I did not buy full price. I got it for $5.50 pretty much. Um, every time they have an aromatherapy sale, that's when I buy aromatherapy. And then this is becoming a really like top contender in my collection. This is cedarwood and vanilla. I love this so much. I can't even I cannot even describe the scent to you but I hope they never stop making that because I love it so much and then this is eucalyptus and tea I like this so much more than the eucalyptus and mint because it has that tea in there tea is so relaxing to me it smells so good so spa like so I was happy when I picked that up and then last but not least on that shelf I do have a lavender and vanilla body cream and this one is um I'm working through it it's probably like down here so I do have to do some more sleep type of scented routines at night so that I can get those together. So moving along to this next section here. So I'm not even sure why I haven't used this in a long time, but you know, doing these types of videos lets me know what I have and helps me to remember to use my items. So this is just some Nourish Body Lotion and this is French Lavender and this is from Walgreens. I did use a nice amount of it. I feel like it's like down to here, but I definitely could work on this and use that more. And I did get that for about, I think $2 maybe? Not quite sure, but it was a really good price that I cannot pass up. So this is some Cracked Heel and Rough Spot Cream. I do like to use this, especially after I give myself a pedicure at home. And I did get this from Marshalls for $5, so I thought that was a good price because it is pretty good for your feet. So next, this is the Johnson's Baby Creamy Oil. Sorry if y'all heard my knee pop. <laughs> But this is aloe and vitamin E. And to me, this is more of like a lotion consistency. Even though I know it says creamy oil, but I pretty much put this in the lotion category, even though it is oil. But I really enjoy that, especially on my nights where I'm just not trying to do a lot. And then next, I have been using this on my face or on any rough patch that I have and it works wonderfully it makes my face so soft and anytime I have any type of dry patches if I put this on there it works like a charm so I really enjoy this so this is the Dove um, baby Dove lotion and this is sensitive moisture so definitely recommend this because especially for face lotion it makes you not want to use regular moisturizer ever again honestly but we know I still will <laughs> So next I have my Johnson's Baby Oil and this is in the scent Shea and Cocoa Butter. And then another recent one that you see I've been putting a dent in because I'm not, I don't play it by my oil. I use my oil every day. So this is the Johnson's Almond Oil and I really like this one because it doesn't have such a strong scent as the Shea and Cocoa and I pretty much mix it with anything at all. And then I have my love. See, my hands are just so greasy because <laughs> I did moisturize my hands before this video. And these bottles are greasy, but this is just the Shea and Cocoa Butter Baby Oil Gel. And I really like baby oil gel more than baby oil, to be honest. Like, it really, really moisturizes. And I really, you know, suggest you try that. But just be careful when you try baby oil gel because... This will get all over the place if you don't give it a chance to actually soak into your skin. 
hopefully you guys can see this angle because it's about to get a little weird <laughs> because my poor poor back but anywho so yeah i'm sorry for the weird angles but i'm trying to do this like so this is the vanilla cashmere lotion from EOS and I absolutely love this. I have been using the crap out of it and I'm like halfway done with this bottle already and I think I just got that like a month ago so yeah. Next is another EOS and this is pomegranate raspberry and this smells so good. It smells like a candy or a Jolly Rancher or something so I really love this and once I heard that it has such a nice sweet scent i had to get it i had to put a pillow under my knees child <laughs> so the next lotion is another eos so this is the coconut waters 24 hour body lotion and this this is in the same line so i'm hoping that they eventually come out with some more scents because i love all these and i just really hope that they keep going with this i do want to try the hand cream and the shave gel and things of that nature so this is the last one in the line, the last Mohican, because I didn't think that I was like that I would like this one, but it actually is a nice fruity, fresh scent. And of course, you know it has that jasmine and peach. And I'm not really a big fan of peach scents, but they did that one right, so I really enjoyed it. Next, this is pine pineapple mimosa, and I actually got this from. Menards and I did uh, and yes, that's a hardware store So I did actually do a video where I showed you a body care haul from the hardware store And that lotion is actually pretty good and it smells really nice. It really does smell like a pineapple mimosa So next this is the Jergens skin smoothie and this is pink grapefruit and pomelo and This literally smells like a freaking smoothie. It smells so good I was not really interested in the other scents at all So when I smelled that and when I seen it, I knew I would love it and I do So next this is a lotion and this is called hemp heaven and I did get this from TJ Maxx and this is organic It has organic hemp seed oil and it is strawberry hibiscus. This smells so good. It really does have a nice strawberry scent. And then this is my first Love Beauty and Planet body lotion. And I did get this probably about a month ago. And this is coconut water and mimosa flower. And it definitely smells like mimosa. I think this will pair great with champagne toast. The last one for this um, little section here. So this is from Honestly Margot. This is Unicorn Potion, Unicorn Potion Body Lotion. And this is in the scent Fruity Cream Sickle or Fruity Dream Sickle. And this smells really fruity and nice. I have not used it on my skin yet because it does actually have a little shimmer to it. So I've yet to actually put that on my skin, but it has a great scent. So with these, I'm actually not going to take them off of the cart. I'm just going to leave them and show you as I go. Also, this little set right here, I am selling on my Mercari. So I will link that down below. Link that down below so that if anybody's interested, of course, first come, first serve. But you can um, try those two scents out for yourself. So this is another like backup of the Cotton Candy Clouds and then the Rainbow Sprinkles Shower Gel. But we're not here for that. We're here for our lotions. Oh, it's better if I just hold the camera for this little section right here, but this is the Dove Nourishing Secrets and this is in the scent coconut and almond milk pretty much. So this is, um, it's a lightweight lotion, so it's definitely good for the summer. And then of course I have the OGX Coconut Coffee Body Cream. This smells so good. It smells like a nice coffee drink. And then I have the from the True Blue Spa. This is Paraffin Super Softening Hand Lotion. I really like this. And it actually has a nice scent to it. So back here as well, I just have two more backups of the Cotton Candy Clouds. And then I have this True Blue Spa. And this is such a huge thing of body cream. And this is in the scent Vanilla Almond. And I will say, I see why so many people were pressed about that because that smells so freaking good. So. If you can get your hands on that from Mercari or the outlet, I would definitely recommend. So we are over here at my little cart. So I'm just going to continue to hold the camera and show you guys. So right here I have bronze coconut from Victoria's Secret Pink. I really love this scent so much. It's a nice warm coconut scent. And then I have Oh So Party. I have been saying you because it made a lot more sense to me. but. 
I've learned since then that it is you. Oh, not you. See, it's hard for me to break that habit. So this is a nice like perfumey scent, but it definitely has that signature Victoria's Secret scent. And then I have Calvin Klein Euphoria. I feel like I've used a lot of this already, but this smells so good, just like the perfume. And then in here, I just have like all my little minis. They're like really jostled up right now, but this is Mary Cookie, very warm cookie scent. I love it so much and I did recently use it. That's why it's here on top. And I'm probably not gonna take all these out because yeah, they're small and it's kind of a hassle, but I just have some more backups. And then I have uh, Pure Seduction, still haven't used this up. I've been talking about that mini size for like two years at this point. Eventually I'll use it up. And this is a Versace Eros little sample. And I did get this in a gift set. Then I have the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. Like I told you guys, this is an old formula, so I don't really care for it. So I don't really even know if I like the new formula or not, but we shall see. And then I just have another mini of the Boom Boom Cream. And I did just, you know, find out that it's Boom Boom and not Bum Bum. So I do have that. And that's a very like nice beachy type of scent. And then I have some Jessica Simpson Fancy Love Lotion. And this did come in a little gift set with the actual perfume. So at the bottom here, this is just my small little growing um, body cream or body butter section. So right here I have the Tree Hut Vitamin C, and this is a very new addition to my collection. I haven't even used it yet. And then I do have the Tree Hut Cocoa Colada Body Butter, which smells really good. Then I have the Dove Silky Nourishment. I like to use this when I'm doing like a warm routine or, you know, I don't really wanna do too much. And then I do have, I don't know what this cotton pad is doing here. And then I do have the Dove Beauty Cream. Of course, this is the pink one. That's really nice. I have some African Shea Butter from the Beauty Supply. They say it's in the scent strawberry, but I don't smell any strawberry girl at all. And then I have the Tree Hut Watermelon Whipped Shea Body Butter. Have not used that yet either. And then I have the strawberry yogurt from the body shop. This smells so juicy and good. The only thing is it is kind of sticky and I think that's just because it's really organic. So just be mindful of that. And I do feel that way about the Love Beauty and Planet Lotion as well. It is kind of sticky. So if you feel the same way, let me know if you've had that um, issue. Yes, if you're wondering, I did change my shirt because I'm about to film another video for you guys. And I want it to be, I guess, somewhat presentable. You know, I guess I can do that much. But hope you guys enjoyed my lotion slash body cream slash body butter collection. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.